Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So I am so excited because today I am going to the beach. I'm having a beach day with my buddy and we are going to have an epic water balloon fight. But before I do that, I told myself, man, got to give you all the goods with this Christian Wood Dallas Mavericks rebuild. So I apologize. It's not like a highly edited video. I did do a video last night talking about my extended thoughts on this trade and all that good stuff. So please go check that out. But today we're doing a simple classic Crispy Flakes rebuild. So before we get going on this, um, guys, I cannot grow this channel without you. I can post videos every single day, but without your guys' support, man, I just can't do it. So thank you guys so much for your constant support. Uh, if you could please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, it is really greatly, genuinely appreciated thank you all so much for that but let's get going on this here man so what exactly is this team looking like so obviously we got christian wood here um listed at the center position the thing that makes me a little bit nervous though about this mavericks team and something we definitely have to address here in the off season um is going to be where's it at man is the shot blocking the interior defense of this team uh nobody can block a shot nobody like 52 67 27 like just nobody's doing that Yo, Maxi Kluber got a 76. It's actually pretty solid, man. Maxi Kluber about to be the damn starting center up in here. But no, um, definitely something we can address here, no doubt in my mind. But uh, we got to be smart about it. So as far as the rest of the team, obviously we're building around Luka Doncic. It's also got him listed at point guard. Um, So let's go ahead and get that switched up real quick here because he is going to be... No, I'm sorry. He's listed at shooting guard. So yeah, shooting guard for him. It, no, point guard, shooting guard. And then Brunson, uh, shooting guard point guard here not shooting guard center that would be a very interesting archetype though i will say all right besides that everything else is looking pretty good although i am thinking christian wood you know i was considering him as center but i do think power forward is probably the move here man uh just the way he plays he can space things out a little bit for the team so get him at power forward slash center then we can get more of an interior guy maybe a deandre Ayton, a mitchell robinson for that center position maybe even like a yako perto i'm feeling that might actually be a pretty solid move too so yeah we'll get to all that um yeah jalen brunson gonna be part of the team here i downloaded the start today file they have him signed up to a three or 50 million dollar contract i know he doesn't have that in real life but i did want to bring him back anyway so i'm gonna leave it um we got dorian finney smith so Finney Smith, I think, is going to be pretty important for this team still. You know, he's got a really good contract, really good valued player. Um, I do like him at that small forward position, but I do definitely see lineups with Christian Wood at center with him at the power forward spot. I think that could be great for spacing and penetration for Luka getting to the basket. Um, Dinwiddie, I like him as the backup point guard. If there's a good trade to improve our roster, I might look to trade him away. Once again, going for like a Mitchell Robinson. Maybe they want a point guard Dinwiddie over on the Knicks and a sign trade. That could be kind of interesting. Tim Hardaway, um, at this point, I think I see Hardaway more as like a scoring six man off the bench at this age and stage of his career. The reason I say that is Dorian is the small forward and Brunson is my shooting guard. So yeah, that's kind of where he has to be at. Reggie Bullock, same backup role, but obviously could be a trade piece too. Um, but yeah, man, a lot of really good things going on here. So let's get to the actual offseason. Let's get to the rookie signing. So we do not have a draft pick. I still think it was the right move trading that draft pick away just because Christian Woods can help out Luka a lot more now than the 18-year-old is uh, via the draft. So yeah, definitely a W move there. Uh, team player options. So yeah, Josh Green, I'm actually really surprised he was not included in the trade just because like he's like a good young asset. I thought the Houston Rockets would want somebody like that. I guess they got like they got like Josh Christopher Jalen Green already for the shooting guard rotation, so I could see like adding another guy into the mix where that could maybe be an issue. Um, free agency, man. So I don't really know the financial situation of this team. Negative eighty-seven million dollars. So we're not exactly going out there and signing anybody huge, but uh, we are still in a good opportunity to make a big time trade. So as far as going for like that interior type of center not really seeing it here i mean javel mcgee i guess can like block some shots you got drummond right here 75 overall he might be worth going after something like that um al horford seems kind of intriguing just for like maybe like a one or two season contract uh but i feel like i would need to start him because like as far as my bench unit goes like i'm pretty good with like the uh powell kleba rotation so i might hold off on that too let's actually hit up some trades first and see if we can kind of pull something off here um, before we get really into heavily into free agency. So I'm thinking, I really like the idea of Yaka Pertle on this team. I don't know why, man. Like, it's just coming to my mind. 78 overall, 26. What's his, what's his shot blocking? I know that's, that's, that's not, not like the only indication of defense, but it is kind of what we're looking for, man. Like, you got to be able to like block dudes like Giannis to get to the basket. JK, nobody blocks Giannis. Let's call it like it is. 85, perfect. Okay, so he's about $9 million a season. Uh, I'm thinking to do this we could do something like dwight powell 
two star right there and then maybe maybe we can toss some like i'm gonna assume it's protect this 120 i don't really care about it man okay let's say we could just do it for powell maybe we'll be interested in that a counter offer so they want dorian finney and we get a top three protected i don't really like that too much if i'm being honest i'd much rather try to give up a different asset uh let's do the first round pick that might be enough right there dwight powell first round pick for yaka Pertle, and they don't want that okay i will toss in a second round pick how about that still not liking it how about another second round pick still not liking that how about another first round pick there we go man i'm not saying i would quite do that exact trade in real life but it is 2k and i don't care about them draft picks right now man i really don't that's not gonna get the dallas mavericks a championship by drafting those young players right now man but uh no obviously like yaka Pertle, damn man like i like the move it's good it's real good so it takes care of a lot of our issues um and he's very inexpensive player but anything else we really want to go for right now i think the rotation is going to be pretty damn solid um because max you can play power forward slash center and also with how christian wood and Jakob, i guess Jakob was just strictly a center um davis bertans at power forward slash center so we want more of a stretch big out there at times too that can definitely work out um but let's see if we can maybe pull off another type of trade i, I like reggie bullocks quite a bit so i want to keep him around but it would be nice to maybe try to like shed this davis bertans contract and free up some money um you know for next season at least when we got to sign guys like christian wood ideally if he ends up being good for the team so uh here we got Javante green and a second round pixels to the bulls i can see dallas helping out a team like that uh lori marking and here we can just do a straight up a draft pick for him you know teams can absorb these contracts and stuff when it comes to the offseason a lot of cap space available and uh i mean davis bertans got paid because he could shoot the ball so yeah let's go ahead and do the trade right here with the memphis grizzlies there we go and uh, we just saved a lot of money by doing that although i still don't think it's like enough by the way these ratings are looking interesting here man sometimes the ratings be looking interesting but it's all consistent in the end of the day so i don't really worry about it too much with these uh start today files uh oladipo bruce brown al horford do i want to go for al horford i think i do man that's a really good contract and we all know what type of difference maker he can be like a constant professional i think he fits in nicely with this team here man so we're gonna try to get him signed up for a two-year deal and uh hopefully we are able to do so and there we have it now i do see myself you know because that we can't afford him right now but i could see ourselves going for a guy like that maybe next season if things don't pan out with how the squad is constructed right now i really do want to give jalen brunson a good chance as the full-time starter on the team and everything so um yeah man let's go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season okay guys here is the team going into the beginning of the regular season we got luka Doncic, we got jalen brunson dorian finney smith christian wood at the four Jakob Pertle at the five for the bench unit we got Al Horford Tim Hardaway Spencer Dinwiddie Reggie Bullocks and Maxi Kleba for a 10-man rotation um this is gonna be a really good team I mean they got to the Western Conference Finals so clearly they're already really good but I think they're gonna be even better like this type of trade the things we pulled off here I think have been big time here man for the squad so let's go ahead and simulate this NBA season I'm gonna predict probably I'm gonna say we could potentially be a 55 win team i guess let's actually real quick here also do the uh coach game plan no assist proficiency so three and a half star perimeter centric team definitely good with that although christian wood don't really like it. i don't know why um he likes to shoot threes so he should be good there and we'll also do the shooting tendencies i always do this just because 2k is really bad at like knowing how players play uh sometimes you got guys that are great three-point shooters that just don't shoot threes in this game because it's just screwed up like that so um we got Luca at an 82 I'm bumping that shit up to a 90 man like I'm not Luca taking them shots Christian Wood at an 80 I'm good with that 70 uh Dorian Finney definitely can be taking more shots like he actually has a really high basketball IQ so you can take the shots if he's open Jakob Pertl definitely stick more around the basket and everything bench unit looking pretty good there uh let's go to the three-point shots to make sure that's all looking great so Luca Wood 56 64 57 yeah Pertle, you don't gotta be shooting no damn threes man because if you're wide open you can you know what you're absolutely wide open end of the you know end of the game or something like that into the third quarter take that shot baby and uh that's all looking great all righty 55 win team that is my prediction let's simulate this christian wood luka Doncic mavericks season and see what happens okay guys end of the regular season uh third in the conference so probably not a 55 win team unless the western conference is that great one more game again hey the houston rockets the trade partners right here man 49 wins uh let's go ahead and simulate with simcast on this one because i want to see you know what bobon's doing over there probably not getting pt if we're being quite honest man but uh 
Looking like we're going to be going into the postseason with a big-time blowout against the Houston Rockets. And, ooh, man, oh, my goodness, 158 to 84. That's a good indicator uh, going into the playoffs here. Christian Wood, 19, 11, and 6. Uh, meanwhile, we do have Jalen dropping 18. Where's Boban at? What's Boban doing, man? Uh, oh, dang, he's not on the team no more. Well, he got traded. He got traded away. They also, uh, I don't know why I was surprised he got John Wall. I was like, they got John Wall. It's like, wait, that's been a thing. <laughs> Had two for 15? Six turnovers? Come on now, man. Uh, we got Giannis MVP. Chet as rookie of the year. Nurkic as six-man Giannis defensive player. John Moss most improved. And Willie Green as coach of the year. 64-win team over there, man. Uh, All-NBA first. All-NBA second with Luka making that. And All-NBA third. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, yeah, the Pelicans are going to be dangerous in this video here, man. Let's go to these player stats on the season, though, and see how our players all did. So, Luka, 26 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists. Fantastic. Christian Wood, 20 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 52% field goal efficiency, and 37% from 3. If he does that next season and this Mavericks team is winning games, he is going to be a near all-star player. Like, I don't know if he's going to get the all-star team because it's hard to do it these days, but he's going to be a near all-star player if he's doing those numbers. And then Brunson, uh, 14, 3, and 5. So, regressed a little bit as a player, but still overall pretty good. Tim Hardaway, Dinwiddie, very nice. Uh, Al Horford, amazing off the bench for this team. And then Jakob Pertl, 8 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists. Love the passing. 1 steal, 2 blocks per game. So, we got him for the defense. He provided the defense for this team. Uh, here we go, man. So we got first round Shea Gilgis Alexander in the OKC Thunder. Let's simulate this play in tournament. Get to that first. And uh, I'm feeling like I should probably shorten my rotation a little bit here. Um, you know, for the playoffs. Just because, you know, you want really want your stars playing a lot of minutes. So Al Horford's been killing it for us. Uh Kleba's only getting nine minutes per game. We're gonna take away those minutes. Reggie Bullock love him, but he's one of the guys not on fire off the bench, so therefore he's gonna get cut from the playoff rotation. But he's still there if we absolutely need him. I want to get uh, 42 a game for Luka. Let's get Jalen at 33. 36 for Christian Wood. Uh, let's bump up these minutes for Jakob to 30 a game. And then we'll kind of divvy out the rest of the minutes for the bench units. They'll play situationally. And there we go, man. That looks pretty good for us right there. First round, we got the draft pick. Team themselves, OKC Thunder. Simulate round, see how this goes. I'm gonna start calling you Christian Nowood. Think about it. Think about it. Yo, got Zach Levine on the Thunder? Bro, I was gonna go for him, man. Yo, Christian, why are you shooting more than Luca? <laughs> I mean, Luca, we got the 15 assists. Oh, goodness. Well, we lost by two points in that game. Jalen Brunson actually really balled out too. We, we, we really just lost. We really just, like, we got absolutely defeated. That's really all it was here, man. Oh, boy. Um, alrighty. So, that did not go according to plan. We got outed in the first round. Did not expect that whatsoever, man. Pelicans win it all, though. They look like they'll be dominant out here anyway, man. So, they probably would have beat us anyway. But, uh, let's get to this offseason. Oh, man, that, mm, not happy about that one. Okay, uh, as far as what we do now, I mean, oh. Okay. I guess uh, 2K decided to call it quits there. Big yikes, man. Um, I'm going to try to get it back, I guess. Okay, guys. Uh, so, the game is crashed. I cannot get past that file for whatever reason. I just tried again. And uh, the team actually got to the uh, NBA Finals this time. and lost to the Boston Celtics. So, I guess consider this one a uh, more of a simulation as opposed to a rebuild it's one season of christian wood of what i think the mavericks can do do i think they will lose in the first round of the okc thunder no i do not but uh i guess that's some good ideas of the type of moves i think the dallas mavericks should make bring in Jakob. um maybe christian wood at the power forward spot you know man al horford would be a nice addition so hopefully you guys all still enjoyed this video i am going to go enjoy my beach day so thank you all so much for watching peace out my friends